you don't. <laughs> 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 Bubba, you gotta come and you dance come with me. Hello, my lovely follower. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Right now, we are almost over 800 subscribers and many viewers. If you like anything, any comments, any actually special episode, let me know. I'm thankful to Allah for everything we have as a family, alhamdulillah. Obviously, every family goes up and down through many problems. But the main thing is, when you have a problem, try to be very patient and convert every crisis into opportunity in order to succeed. I am honored to introduce to our actually this channel, I have a special meeting with Christina as a beautiful London girl. We ask her about her impression living in Dubai for a long time and what is actually the life for someone come from Europe and live here in this actually atmosphere. So let's start. I'm going first to Christina. How are you today? I'm good, Baba. How are you? Very good, thank you. I will ask you, can you briefly tell me about your, let's say, life? <laughs> yeah. So I'm from England, so I live in a small town called Hazelmere, which is an hour south of London uh, in the countryside, and I've been in the Middle East for seven years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy here? I love it. We love it. Here. Yeah. So what was the attraction to bring you to UAE? I think the weather, weather. firstly, because okay. it's a very... I don't blame you for that. <laughs> very Eight months rainy. we have wonderful weather. Yeah. Very rainy in England, and also the uh, the culture and the people. Yeah, no, I love it here. Okay, actually, I want to ask you about the how long you've been in UAE now. Uh, I've been in the UAE for almost six years. Six years, and yeah. before that, you were. And um, before that, I was in Muscat, in Oman, Muscat, in Switzerland. Muscat. Can you compare Muscat and, um, and here? I mean, what is the big difference between Muscat and let's say Dubai? Dubai has a lot of towers, a lot of high rises. <laughs> And uh, Muscat's very low-key, uh, all low rises, much more mm. kind of nature, whereas Dubai is the city of So you, you like Dubai more? No, no, I like both of them. Both of them. Yeah, right. they're very different. So if I ask you what size of your family, I mean origin family, how big is, how many sister, brother, siblings? So I have one sister and I have many cousins. She's so my... beautiful like you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll say she's more beautiful, but oh. still. <laughs> uh, and uh, I have a lot of cousins, so my mum is one of five. Mm. So she I have a lot of cousins. She has some Arabic root. <laughs> yeah, same as the Arabic Many family. children. <laughs> Many children. And, um, but I'm the eldest grandchild. Oh, the eldest. The yeah. eldest is always in trouble like me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, what are, actually the question is, as a British girl, what are the main challenges for, let's say, British or let's say, European girl when they come here in this country? What are the main things they face? Mm, maybe the misconception of the Middle East. I think a lot of people have misconceptions about the Middle East from the media. So I feel like actually coming here, when I first moved to Oman, I'd never even heard of Muscat Oman. Mm -hmm. So coming here and meeting the people and immersing yourself in the culture, it's really okay. nice. And what is actually, let's say, the difficulty at the beginning to adjust the weather, to adjust the, the Maybe the weather, the summers are hard. It's very so hot. Away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Luckily, I would never say, I think last year was my first summer in first the summer Middle East. Oh, yeah, okay. because of the pandemic. Of pandemic. So normally I managed to escape. Okay. <laughs> So what is the, let's say, incentive to stay here that long, seven years? Beside, I, beside, I mean, let's say... The weather. The weather. <laughs> I think uh, the people, it's so international here. Um, mm -hmm. And it's a great hub to travel. And the people here are lovely. So you like it to travel a lot, huh? I love to travel, yeah. Oh, okay, very good. Very good yeah. <laughs> so since you are here, let's say, over seven years, what Arabic word you learn, let's say? Good Arabic word. Inshallah. Inshallah, very Inshallah. good, Inshallah. Shwe Do you know what is the meaning? Yeah, like God willing. God willing, yeah. exactly. Uh, shui shui. Shui shui. Little like by little. Word, I love this word. Uh, Kaliwali. Kaliwali. <laughs> no, what is that? Like let it go. Let like it let go. it. So what is actually, let's say, if you have some Arabic word in different language, in different dialects, let's say Arab in Egyptian, Iraqi, and other, let's say. Uh, Zayek. Zayek, yeah, in Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. Um, you know what it mean? Like how are you? How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kifak. Kifak. Yeah, Lebanese. Yeah. 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 And uh, 
Shlonek? Shlonek, yeah, you see, Iraqi, yeah. You know, In Iraqi. Yeah. yeah the, what are the unfavorite, let's say, uh, Arabic word you don't like yeah, to hear? Yeah, yeah. Bad word or what you, you are cheat or you, they're using but you don't like? I know, like, uh, if you're telling someone to be quiet, huh. like chub, like chub, chub, chub. that's not so great. <laughs> yeah. like, shut up. Like, like shut, shut up. up. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. yeah, okay. So now, actually, I would like to tell you some Iraqi words. I know because I am from Iraq, so we have some tricky words. Okay. Who Arabic people, they don't understand it. So definitely you will understand it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I will pronounce the word, okay. and then I ask you if you can guess what exactly or close to meaning is. If you missed it, then I will ask you to do some activities. Oh God, okay. Okay, the first one is Haisha. What does Haisha mean, do you know? Haisha. Haisha, yeah. Haisha. 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 A cow. A cow. Yeah. Haisha. Yeah, okay. That's so funny, that. no, I would yeah. not have a clue. Okay. Khrit. <laughs> No idea. Khrid. Khrid. Yeah. Okay. So when you talk, you say this is a bullshit. Khrid. Oh. <laughs> Khrid. I'm going to remember yeah. that one. Khrid. Maz'at Lughi. Maz'at Lughi. Lughi. Very good. Wallah. Yeah. Say it again. Maz'at Lughi. Maz'at Lughi. 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 Maz'at Lughi. Maz'at Lughi. Oh my goodness. That means childish. Ah, <laughs> but Iraqi, believe <laughs> me, half of the Arab they don't understand it. So yeah. I don't believe me. I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> yeah. Chabia. 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 Yeah. The residuals. Ah. Residuals. Okay. But in Iraq they Chabia. use it when they make actually like say uh, rice, yeah, and on the on the bottom become like crispy, like mm. cake, you know. Yeah. That's especially they say Chabia to Jidr. Chabia. Yeah. Ch Fashushi. Fashushi, that's really cute. That yeah. word. Fashushi. It's not the Italian word. What does it mean? Fashushi means whole, hollow, hollow, empty. Empty. Yeah, fashushi. That's fashushi, it. Say, like finished. Let's say, yeah, this is not finished. Not no. finished. That's so this guy is talking fashushi. That is just yeah, any hole. Like nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Hollow. Hollow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another word is very famous is actually Farhud. Farhud. Yeah. Farhud means actually uh, like mass of lottery. Okay. Lottery, yeah, you know. Yeah. Farhud. Yeah, farhud, yeah. There is a word actually in uh, the Iraqi that uses it. Sakhari Marri. Sakhari Marri. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. Okay. That means forward, backward. And he's repetitive. Okay. Khari Marri. Khari Marri. So he's going Khari Marri. Ali Shish. Ali Shish. Shu Ali Shish. He's Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, the, Turkey. Other, like yeah. the, the yeah, food. Turkey, a food, bird, uh, Turkey. So we have also another word, they say Arabanchi. Arabanchi. Yeah. Okay. A wagon driver. A driver. You know, the, you know those wagons? Oh, the, yeah, two yeah, horses. horses. With the horses, with the horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arabanchi. Arabanchi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we That's... do the Arabic dance now. How's the Arabic dance? Where they go like this? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's. Just I just know they like. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they do this a lot with sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Baba, you gotta come and well, dance with me. me huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> to Finally, Christina, every episode we have a quote of the day. So here we say, be honest, your enemy will scare or be powerless. In Arabic, kun adilan yahtaru khasmak. So always be honest to every situation and your enemy will be powerless. He cannot actually challenge you. Because if we make mistake and we are not actually honest, then we will be catched. But if we are honest, uh, your enemy will be powerless. Okay, finally, I will ask uh, my follower to subscribe and please write comments about Christina, lovely lady. And if you like to any special topic, please let me know and subscribe. We love you all. Thank you very much. What am I doing? Go, go, go. I'm just go. doing the <laughs> One, two, three.
Wow, good job. Good job. Good job. I can't do that. Now what? Yeah.